Hi friends, welcome to Shri Netralaya. In this video, I am going to discuss FECO emulsification in post vitrectomized eyes. This case was operated for RD surgery 2 years back and silicone oil removal was also done. As you can notice, there is slight amount of silicone oil in anterior chamber. While performing FECO in post vitrectomized eyes, few points are quite important as these eyes can have a challenge for eye oil calculation. These nucleuses can be very sticky at times and may be difficult to chop. Anterior chamber will become very deep and posterior capsule will go to near midvitreous while performing FECO. Intraopneosis of pupil is quite common in these cases. Iris can prolapse through wound. Sudden movement of posterior capsule can cause PC rupture and turbulence in anterior chamber should be avoided. Incision must be tight enough to prevent any leak of fluid while performing surgery. Meticulous use of FECO power with all settings is must. Bottle height should be maintained at a level which will not increase IOP too high and prevent surge also. Let's watch each step separately. Perform a rexis. So as if needed, you can implant an IOL in sulcus also. Perform a very meticulous pre-operative examination so as not to miss any lens damage or anterior capsule rupture due to previous vitrectomy surgery. a good hydro delineation so as to have epinuclear plate and cortex as a cushion for posterior capsule that will prevent any injury while performing FECO emulsification. Notice the sudden deepening of anterior chamber as soon as I enter with IA or FECO Pro. You can notice the nucleus is very small and thick in this case. Intraopneosis is also noticed at steps of surgery. patient can have complication at any stage of surgery even while performing irrigation aspiration as these pieces are very thin and IOL implantation should be under a good visco cover
keep a three piece foldable IOL ready for these cases as you may need to implant these IOLs in the sulcus. left some amount of cortical material behind and still proceeding with implantation of IOL as removing these last fibers can cause PC rupture any moment so I want to first safeguard my posterior capsule with IOL and then remove residual cortical material implanted a 3 piece foldable IOL. In these cases do not overfill the chamber. Also do not over hydrate the wounds as the fluid can go to vitreous cavity. Iris is prolapsing out of the incision, so I am doing a hydro and going to put one suture as that will prevent any AC leak in post operative period. Do use suture if at all needed for surgical wound closure. These sutures can be removed after a week's time. Please do control your ego and apply sutures whenever needed to have better surgical outcome. I hope you must have enjoyed this video and these tips will be helpful while operating your next case of post vitrectomy eye. Thank you, your feedbacks are valuable. Do write your feedback on a comment box below. Thank you. Subscribe to a YouTube channel.